can't finish all these books and reports. Ugh. I can't understand any of this boring content. 大家好，每天我们是不是都被资讯的浪潮给淹没？看不完的报告，划不完的 YT 影片，还有那些外语的学习资料。是不是觉得，如果有一个超强的私人助理，能帮我们全部看完，再抓重点报告给我们听，那该有多好？今天我要告诉你，这个愿望已经实现了。很多人可能听过 Google 的 Notebook LM， 心里想，哦，不就是另一个丢资料、做重点整理、问问题的 AI 工具吗？如果你还这么想，那你就错过了一个足以改变你学习和工作方式的革命了。想象一下。你的这位 AI 私人助理不只会给你文字报告，让你在通勤、在运动、想用听的学习，它能立刻为你生成一段克制化的 audio 语音简报。而且，就算你的资料是英文的，它也能用流利的中文、其他你想要的语言说给你听。学习从此无国界。更厉害的还在后头，就在最近 ，Notebook LM 有了全新的杀手级技能。如果你是视觉学习者，需要看到图表、数据和关键画面，它现在还能帮你生成一份影片摘要 （Video Overviews）。没错，你没听错，是动态的、有画面、有旁白的影片。而且这些语音和影片简报在同一个拟记本里不再只能存一份了。这已经不是单纯的拟记工具了。这是一位能帮你吸收海量资料，再用你最需要的方式及时向你简报的终极智慧伙伴。这个功能你一定要会。说再多不如亲眼见证。接下来，我们就让 Notebook LM 的影片摘要 （Video Overviews） 功能亲自为我们简报最新的 Notebook LM 功能及应用。Welcome to the Explainer. Today we're going to talk about a tool that does something pretty amazing. It gives you a personal AI that thinks only about the stuff you actually care about. So we're going to cover the big problem Notebook LM is trying to solve, what it means for an AI to be grounded, all its cool multimedia features, how people are using it in the real world, and finally, what this all means for the future of learning. All right, let's dive in. All right, first up, let's talk about a problem. And I'm pretty sure everyone watching this has it. I mean, every single day, right? We are just buried under this mountain of digital stuff. You've got notes, documents, articles, videos. It's just this constant flood. And trying to find the one thing you actually need, it's like looking for a needle in a digital haystack. It's impossible. You know what I'm talking about? Those dense research papers, the articles you save for later but never get to, all those meeting transcripts, company reports. Just trying to connect the dots and figure out what's important in all that noise, yeah, it's a huge struggle. Okay, but what if you had an AI that was basically your own personal research assistant? I mean, one that works only with the info you give it and becomes an expert on your stuff. Well, that is the whole idea behind Google's Notebook LM. So, what exactly makes Notebook LM so different from all the other AIs out there? Well, it really comes down to this one core concept that keeps your information, well, your information. It's personal and it's private. The secret sauce is something called source grounding. Now, that sounds super technical, but it's actually a really simple idea. It just means the AI's knowledge is locked only to the documents you give it. This is a huge deal because it stops the AI from just making stuff up or hallucinating, which, as you know, is a massive problem for other big AIs. So let's break that down. A general AI, right? It's pulling from the entire internet, but Notebook LM it becomes an expert only on your stuff, so its answers are always on point. And here's the best part. It gives you citations. It literally shows you, "Hey, I found this right here in your document." It's all about building an AI you can actually trust. Okay, so this whole grounded thing, this is where it gets really, really cool, because it lets Notebook LM take your boring old documents and turn them into something dynamic, something interactive. So as soon as you upload your sources, we're talking PDFs, Google Docs, whatever. The AI doesn't just sit there waiting for you to ask a question. No, it gets to work. It starts analyzing everything, and boom, it gives you instant summaries, FAQs, study guides, even timelines. You get a perfect overview of all your stuff right away. And if you're a more visual person, check this out. It goes a step further. With just one click, literally one click, 
Notebook LM can whip up an interactive mind map from all your sources. It's an amazing way to see all the hidden connections between your ideas and just explore your notes in a totally new way. But it doesn't stop at text and visuals. It also does audio. There's this feature called Audio Overview that turns your notes into an actual conversation between two different AI voices. And people seem to love it. Like this one user on Reddit said, it sounds like a natural conversation about his own writing. How cool is that? It's a fantastic way to review your stuff when you're on the move. And the latest evolution? It's video. Seriously. The video overview feature takes all your sources and automatically generates a short, narrated presentation. We're talking slides, text, images, all pulled straight from your documents. It's basically like having your own personal presentation builder on demand. Okay, so that's the tech. Pretty impressive. But how does this actually help people in the real world? What are the actual use cases here? Well, for students and researchers, it's a game changer. It's basically like having a personal tutor and a research assistant that's on call 24 seven. Think about it. You can upload all your class notes and say, hey, make me a practice quiz. You can feed it those super dense academic papers and ask it to find the hidden connections. Or you can just drop in a YouTube link from a long lecture and get a summary of the key points in seconds. It just completely speeds up the learning process. And it's definitely not just for students. For professionals, especially if you're in a small or medium-sized business that can't afford that crazy expensive enterprise software, this thing can act as a super efficient internal knowledge base. So for example, HR can just upload a bunch of resumes to instantly find the best person for a job. The finance team can pull key numbers from reports in a flash, and the legal department can compare a new contract against a template to see what's different. It just makes getting answers from your own company documents incredibly fast. Now, Notebook LM isn't a one-size-fits-all kind of deal. It actually comes in a few different flavors, so let's quickly break down what you get with each one. Okay, so the free version is honestly pretty powerful for most personal use. But the real takeaway here is how the pro and enterprise versions are built to scale up. If you're a power user or you're working with a team, you get much higher limits, you get real collaboration tools, and you even get support for files like Word and PowerPoint. It's really designed to grow with you. But, you know, it's not perfect. We gotta be real here. As critics like the tech blogger Raymond Howe have pointed out, there are some pretty big drawbacks. The built-in note editor is, well, it's really basic. And this is a big one. Your chat history just vanishes when you close a notebook. That's a huge flaw that makes it really frustrating to try and pick up where you left off. But even with those limitations, you just can't ignore how fast this thing has evolved. I mean, look at this. In just two years, it went from this little experiment called Project Tailwind to a full-blown multimodal AI assistant. The path is so clear, right? It went from text to audio to visual mind maps and now to video. The speed of that evolution is just, it's pretty remarkable. And all this progress leaves us with one last big question. These tools, they're not just passive note takers anymore. They're becoming active partners in how we think. So here's the thought I wanna leave you with. If your notes can actually think, analyze and create with you, how is that going to change the very nature of how we learn? And Anya Herzen for Kwaivao. Key project milestones include a 20% increase in efficiency. Efficiency.